Hi everybody, this is Melissa from getting all my ducks in a row.blogspot.com and it's time for Mendy Mingle once again. Mendy Mingle is hosted by Jennifer at 80mileperhourmom.com and I'll make sure to put her button in my post so that you guys can find her too. It's a really fun uh, weekly Mimi, Mimi, I don't know how to pronounce that, but it, it's a, a weekly post that she puts up. It has three to four questions that you answer in the form of a vlog and then link back to her site. And I think it's pretty fun, so. This week's questions were, uh, were from Greg at Telling Dad, and the first one is, if you were forced to choose between skydiving, base jumping off of a skyscraper, or rock climbing, which would you choose? Now, none of those three options are anything that I would ever do, but I think that if I were forced to choose, I would pick rock climbing. Uh, rock climbing would be the one that I would think that I would have the most control over my own body, um, and I know a little bit about rock climbing. I watch um, Bear Gorillas on Man vs. Wild. And um, I've learned from Bear that uh, you should always have three points of contact with the thing that you're climbing, whether it be a waterfall that he does all the time, uh, a tree, or um, you know, a rock wall. Uh, I also know that you should use your legs to give your arms a rest um, because your arms wear out way faster than your legs do. So rock climbing it is. Number two, are you an aggressive or defensive driver? Uh, I'm going to say I'm a defensive driver. Um, I live off of one of the major highways in Oklahoma, and um, we're around semis a whole lot. And so um, when I have to pass one, um, I speed up a whole lot to get around them as fast as I can. And um, when, I, when one passes me, um, I slow down considerably. And I don't throw my brakes or anything, but um, I do slow down to let them pass. Um, I think that being around them so much has made me a very defensive driver. Um, I don't think that, um, well, I worry that they can't see me. Um, it's been my major issue. But um, I'm also a defensive driver in the passenger seat of my car. Um, when my husband is driving, I'm constantly grabbing on to the door frame. I'm constantly um, just jamming my foot into the floorboard, um, trying to get him either to, you know, break or, or, well, it's usually brake because he drives pretty fast, but anyway, so I'm a defensive driver. And then number three, due to the sour economy, the genie can only grant you one wish, and what would it be? Now, I'd like to say world peace. I'd like to say end world hunger. Um, I'd like to say something fabulous like that, but I think that I'm going to say something that would affect my life in a major way. And that is, I wish that it was not a circus act everywhere that I went. Um, my husband and I have four children, and um, anywhere we go, um, it, it's like herding cats. <laughs> I mean, it, it's it's so outrageous sometimes that I just want to step back and laugh. I mean, I just I just wish that it was just easier to maneuver in places. And it's not even the places that are the problem. I mean, it's my children. They are, they're just uh, everywhere. And there's so many of them, there's four, that um, it's very overwhelming. I mean, it, it's, a, it's very overwhelming. And I, I'm, I'm almost, almost to the point where I just want to stay home all the time. But I know that if I ever did that, if I ever just said, well, we're just not going to go anywhere, then we really would never ever go anywhere so I just keep I just keep going out keep trying so if you guys have any tips on how to get kids to uh, walk politely now I know at, their, at, at the preschool that they've all been through they do the walking with tails they make them put their their hands behind their backs you know in the like a duck towel um, and I've tried that before uh, but uh, it's just hard you know so that's what I would wish for that it would just be not a circus act wherever I go so, okay, well, that's this week's questions. Um, like I said, it's pretty easy and fun. They're just three to four questions that you answer in the form of a vlog and then link back to Jennifer's site. So, um, And then I'd also like to, I've done this the past couple of weeks. I've used the second portion of this video um, to show you guys some of the things that I got in the mail. And uh, I did a blog swap, um, which is basically the blogger that hosts it. Um, she, sets up the, she sets the rules. And the rules for this one were that you had to pick your favorite things and that um, you had to ship your partner. Um, the things had a total $30 before shipping. So I shipped mine out um, a couple of weeks ago, and I got mine in this week My that from my partner that sent me. Um, I got mine in this week, and it's really cool, so I thought I'd show you guys. Um, she's from, I think it was North Carolina, 
and um, she shopped in her hometown, which I thought was really fabulous, um, and she sent me um, some coffee-themed items, which for a coffee freak like me uh, was a really great um, gift. So she sent me this coffee mug, and I can't tip it over because it's full of coffee right now, but if you can see from right here, from this angle, I hope you can, um, it has the sunrest here, and that's really, it's really a neat thing because, it, you know, you're, it, it really does work, so, and it's also very pretty, so. And then she sent me a bag of Smoky Mountain Roasters, Frosty's Favorite. Oh my gosh, this stuff is good. It is so good. And I checked online this morning. It's not available for purchase online. I don't know what I'm going to do when this tiny little bag runs out. And then she also sent me from the Hazelwood Soap Company, which this stuff is available online, and I'm glad for that because I'm going to be ordering some of this right here. Um, and this is Hazelwood Soap Company Come Clean Caffeine Exfoliating Scrub. And this stuff is amazing. I mean, it, it's fantastic. And it is all it is. It's like a facial scrub. I'll put it right up here. A facial scrub. And um, it has coffee greens in it. And what that it does, I mean, it's really good for exfoliating. Who would have thought? Coffee. Coffee grounds. I would have never, ever. It doesn't smell too much like coffee. It kind of smells like coffee flavored candy, which never really smells like coffee. But um, it's really good. And I'm going to be buying some. I think it was $10 for the larger bottle. This is a sample, so it, this is not the bottle for $10. But I'm going to be ordering some of that. And then she also sent some... Hazelwood Soap Company Natural Shea Butter Lotion and Liquid Wash. And it looks pretty good. I haven't had a chance to try these yet, but they look pretty good. So, Anyway, that's what I got. Um, and I thought it was it's really fun. I don't know if you guys do blog swaps or not. This is my fifth one to do. Um, I did a book swap with Seven Clown Circus. Um, that's a really fun blog if you guys have, don't follow that one. Um, and uh, I got my books in for that one this week, too. So I'm going to be posting about that this week. And... I think that's it. I think that's all I got for this week. So um, I hope that you guys um, join in with me on Monday Mingle, and I hope that you guys enjoy my videos. Um, I'm really trying to make them uh, fun for you guys. So, all right, bye. See, what do you do? I mean, you just you gotta go back. You gotta look down. You can't be looking up. You gotta look down so you can find it. Maybe I should make faces or something. <laughs> I don't know. All right. Bye.